job by the Anaheim PD helicopter as well as the California Highway Patrol helicopter who is tracking the progress of this pursuit as well. Anaheim PD down low. California Highway Patrol way up high above Air 7 and all eyes on that work truck. A stolen work truck with at least a driver in the front there unclear whether there's anybody else inside this stolen vehicle. Uh, but the driving fairly composed here, stopping for red lights and then slowing down. Now going right through that red light there at Chandler Street. Continuing now in the westbound direction at a slow pace here. It's pretty much... Uh, a bona fide slow speed chase at this point, doing about 40 miles per hour, maybe pushing a little higher now. You can see three units behind him, three Le Havre PD units who have maintained uh, visual of this pursuit throughout. And now they are continuing here uh, without any further help here. But again, they have come all the way from uh, Le Havre to uh, try and nail this vehicle down and get him off the road. In the meantime, we are unclear whether it's a male or a female, but from a glimpse we saw just a moment ago through the driver's side window, it almost appeared to be a female driver, although we cannot yet confirm that. Still, though, heading westbound on Chandler Street. Making a left turn there into oncoming lanes of traffic, straddling that median there. A southbound turn onto Hellman Avenue. As we get further south towards Norco, you can see this pursuit continuing at a moderate pace, roughly 40 to 50 miles per hour. Uh, continuing southbound here, skirting the hills. And uh, again, approaching the Norco jurisdiction, you can see that primary unit just about five or six car lengths behind. This is again a La Habra PD pursuit chasing the stolen work truck uh, into Riverside County and uh, continuing now uh, on a chase that's been going on for the better part of the last 45 minutes at least. Now going eastbound, it looks like eastbound River Road. Again, this driver refusing to pull over. Uh, impossible to see through those windows from this vantage point, just a little too dark out. And uh, you can see uh, that uh, he's still, he or she, still refusing to pull over, but continuing to blow through these various intersections without even slowing down in some cases, uh, despite the fact that some of these lights are red. In, others cases, he's, uh, in other cases, he's actually uh, slowed down a little bit, looked both ways, and then proceeded through, but not really obeying the rules of the road, just kind of making them up as he goes along here and continuing now, slowing down for the, looks like a red light. He's got, uh, uh, thinking about a right turn there. So a southbound turn onto Archibald Street. And now you can see that passenger seat is clearly empty. Uh, sorry for the dropout there, a clearly empty passenger seat, so it appears only the driver inside the vehicle, now making that southbound turn onto Archibald Street with three units right behind him.
There's that Anaheim PD helicopter. Once again, two helicopters assisting the Harbor PD in this. You've got Anaheim PD down there. And then, as I mentioned, the California Highway Patrol monitoring this pursuit from the air, but not getting involved unless the La Habra PD uh, offers it up to them and decides to pull off on their own and then they can check with California Highway Patrol to see if there's a desire to continue the chase. But for now, La Habra PD still applying pressure here and uh, continuing to see this through as we make our way through Riverside County here in Corona. You can see him now pulling over to the left, about to do a full loop here in this area. And it looks like he's making the leftbound turn, left. Uh, left westbound turn rather onto Bluff Street. Copy that. Looks like a uh, California Highway Patrol unit in the rear there, uh, perhaps ready to help out, but they won't get involved, as I mentioned, unless they are asked to do so. Uh, and in this case, that Anaheim PD helicopter is actually starting to run low on fuel, so we expect that the California Highway Patrol helicopter, which is also overhead here, will start to be the ones to call out the shots as Anaheim prepares to return to the airport for fuel. Uh, the driver of the stolen work truck now slowing down through a narrow residential street, doing about 25 miles per hour with three La Habra PD units behind him and then one CHP black and white in the rear there. There's another random turn there. A left-hand turn onto Corridon, at Corridon Avenue. Picking up a little bit of speed here, still in a very residential neighborhood. Unclear. Go ahead. Thank you. Again, unclear what other crimes may uh, be associated with this pursuit, but right now all we are aware of is that this is a, a stolen vehicle. It's a Grand Theft Auto suspect who is refusing to pull over. You saw the headlights come back on there just a second ago as he makes his way northwest here through uh, Bronco Lane and uh, continuing along Corridon Avenue. Now going northbound on Norco Drive. Northbound on Norco Drive at 45 miles per hour. Still maintaining a steady pace here right through that stop sign. Not slowing down at all. Although, as you can see, traffic extremely light this evening in this area. You can see him continuing northbound with very little resistance in his way. Uh, not much cross traffic either at many of these intersections. But still, he slows down occasionally. But just blows right through the red lights eventually. And in this case, uh, you saw just a second ago, uh, right through a, uh, a stop sign. So he's uh, just kind of continuing the joyride here. I say he, but actually it is unclear at this point whether it is a man or a woman behind the wheel.
The Eagle slowing down dramatically now, almost down to a crawl as uh, they approach another intersection. You can see a, looks like that might be a California Highway Patrol unit. It is. Uh, that's actually blocking the intersection, blocking cross traffic uh, from 6th Street there. And now the work truck looks to make a turn onto the 15 freeway. So we are now getting onto the freeway, the stolen work truck. Uh, continuing this chase onto the southbound side of the 15 freeway. Uh, what was a slow speed pursuit now picking up speed here and we'll see uh, just what kind of behavior we see from uh, this driver on the freeway. Again, for most of this pursuit, almost, almost all of this pursuit has been on surface streets and now we find ourselves on the freeway I believe for the first time, and you can see still only doing about 50 miles per hour. Now pushing 60, continuing with very little traffic on the freeway. Still those three La Habra PD units and a California Highway Patrol unit, a couple of them helping out here very minimally, but uh, now that it's on the freeway, they may very well hand this off to California Highway Patrol if there's a willingness to do so. So we'll see if that handoff takes place or if they stick with it and continue to dedicate these three La Habra PD units to this pursuit, which really is showing no signs of giving up. And uh, it'll be a question for the supervisor as to how far along they want to take this. But in any event, you can see them continuing southbound on the 15 freeway at about 60 miles per hour, those three La Habra PD units holding steady about five to six car lengths behind that uh, suspect vehicle is the primary unit and then the other two right behind him. So a primary unit, a secondary unit and backup all engaged in this pursuit. But still, we will wait to see if they're either getting ready or eventually make the decision to hand this off to CHP. Hugging that right lane there, picking up some more speed now, closing in on 80 miles per hour, but maybe looking for an exit opportunity. We'll see if he sticks with that far right lane or starts to move over. Uh, there is Hidden Valley, and he just bypassed that exit ramp. So continuing to commit to the 15 freeway as we make our way south through Riverside County. A little bit of traffic in their way here and looking to weave around that driver pulling over and now you can see the suspect vehicle continuing uh, to hold steady in that number four lane there. So bypassing the exit, still though staying to the right generally speaking. If he sees an opportunity, he may use the exit ramp to try and lose those units, but at these speeds, it'll be difficult to lose those La Habra PD units who are pretty dedicated to this pursuit, pretty committed I should say, as he now takes the fork in the road and that's going to put him uh, on to, let's see here, that'll be the 91 freeway and it looks like he's going west. So the westbound side of the 91 as we continue through this interchange here and we'll see uh, if anything changes. But now some making some moves here and deciding to stick with the freeway where traffic is going to be a little bit busier on the 91 freeway. We'll see if that was a smart decision on their part there. But still, La Habra PD with plenty of room to follow this stolen work truck. So a Grand Theft Auto suspect behind the wheel of that work truck right there. It's an unmarked unit. It looks like there might be some writing on the door, but we really can't make it out. Uh, at least I can't. Are you able to see that, Josh? Is it? Cisco, oh, it's a Cisco truck. Look at that. Okay, so it's a Cisco truck. 
uh, or a truck that belongs to Cisco, and you can see the driver uh, that apparently stole this truck continuing now. Westbound 91 freeway, uh, definitely speeding up a little bit with some cars in his way here. As I mentioned, traffic does slow down a little bit, or at least a few more brake lights, a little more volume on the westbound side of the 91 freeway, a little heavier coming the opposite direction, but he got to the westbound side, still doing uh, about 50 miles per hour as he sticks right behind that car there. He has plenty of opportunity to go around that person, but still hugging the right side of the freeway. There he does, there he is. He's going around that driver and then moving back over, I think, to the right there. So still uh, edging to the right with these three Le Havre PD units in pursuit. Once again, if you're just joining us on abc7.com and our 24-7 stream, streaming channels, we're over a pursuit along the 91 freeway here in Corona. La Habra PD chasing this stolen work truck through Orange County into Riverside, uh, all the way down the 15 freeway and then onto the 91 freeway where we are now just getting off of the 91, westbound side of the 91, getting off at what may be Maple Street here, coming up on a traffic light as long as he's been on surface streets, has not bothered to stop for many red lights. And in this case, he's got the green light coming to a stop, coming to a stop at the green light at the entrance rip. Look at that, pulling in reverse, reversing into that La Habra PD unit, that primary unit standing still as that work truck rams into the hood of that SUV. Look at this, ramming in again in reverse. That work truck now pulling it into reverse, ramming into the front of that PD unit for no apparent reason here, but the charges have just been amped up dramatically here as he pulls into an industrial area. And look at this, look at this wild pit there, full speed into the front of the work truck, boxing him in here, and now they will be forced to use force if this driver does anything threatening whatsoever. Look at this, backing up into those black and whites. He's backing up and shoving those units out of the way. Desperate to get away. Officers with their guns drawn and the canine unit out. Look at this. Over the tree. Through the trees and trying to get away. He's through private property. Running through a fence here. He's trying to ram through a fence. Trying to get through those trees. And these units have to get back in their vehicles. Three La Habra PD units are going to be calling for backup here. And now California Highway Patrol may very well be getting involved uh, sooner rather than later. Look at this. These vehicles are going to... Look at that! The primary unit ramming full speed again! That vehicle is now disabled. The primary unit has now completely disabled that work truck, taking the fence with them, and now getting on to the freeway, I think. He just got onto the freeway! He's going the wrong way, the wrong way on the freeway. He's going the wrong way on the 91. He's going eastbound on the westbound side of the 91 freeway. A stolen work truck ramming into police officers, refusing to pull over after what was a relatively tame pursuit, has now gone completely off the rails here as we now go eastbound on the 91 freeway with debris being dragged along the freeway. That work truck ramming into three separate La Habra PD units, those officers jumping out of their vehicle with their guns drawn and then ramming full speed into this work truck. And now this work truck appears to be having mobility issues uh, now as he faces oncoming traffic. He's come to a standstill as he faces oncoming traffic on the westbound side of the 91 freeway. He went full bumper cars with those La Habra PD units and then rammed over a fence, took out a tree, and it looks like that front left wheel might be, might be in trouble there. I can't tell. I can't tell whether that 
is it just my view here, or if that if that the whole front might be crooked? That front axle looks a little bit messed up. But now look at this. Look at the agitated driver behind the wheel here. This driver creating lots of havoc now, and now there's going to be a major confrontation as soon as California Highway Patrol uh, gets into position here. Look at that. It's a female driver. A female driver jumping out of the vehicle, running into a cross lanes. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. The female driver running across the 91 freeway. Those drivers don't see her. She is not well. She's not well. She's not well. And she is now running for it, crossing all lanes of the 91 freeway, now using the shoulder. You see the night sun up above there by the California Highway Patrol. This woman continuing the run of her life as she has now made it to the other side of the freeway, looking for a hiding spot at a Denny's. She's at a Denny's parking lot on the other side of the 91 freeway. She abandoned the work truck and now she's trying to wave down somebody for some assistance here. She is uh, a desperate individual uh, who is acting very, very erratic. The Well, the wig just fell off. Guys, this is out of control. This is just out of control. This person now running through the front of the Denny's and now into the Denny's. Running into the Denny's. Or Carl's Jr. Is there a Carl's Jr. or a Denny's? It's the Denny's. So there's a, a Carl's Jr. next door. Uh, that person just ran into the Denny's with, uh, I think those are, those may be the original La Habra PD units. I can't tell. Uh, they certainly it can't all be because at least one of those units was pretty much disabled. And now you can see a number of officers entering the restaurant here, going inside the Denny's to place that person under arrest. A wild end to a wild chase that is just breathtaking. I mean, a complete desperation. And now uh, this will hopefully come to an end. We can't see what's going on inside the restaurant there, but there are people coming out of the restaurant, cell phones out looking for, look at this, they're still running, they can't find her. They can't find her, she may be coming out the rear of the restaurant. There are officers now surrounding the Denny's. They still don't have a visual of her. They still can't find her. Patrons coming out of the restaurant. Police surrounding the restaurant. And at this point, no sight of this person. No sight of that suspect who may be hiding out somewhere in the building, maybe in the kitchen, maybe in a closet. Who knows where that person has found a hiding spot. But by my account, it does not appear that they have a beat on that suspect. They cannot find her. They cannot find her. They have canine units on the scene there. Additional police units pulling up into position here, looking for that person who ran into the Denny's. This is, this is incredible. Where, where could she be? Let's go ahead and widen out slightly. I just want to get, a, get an idea of what's going on with the vehicle that is now blocking the westbound lanes of traffic. Police have now shut down the westbound side of the 91 freeway. They've shut down the freeway as they attend to that stolen vehicle, which was now abandoned on the freeway. The driver jumping out of the westbound side of the 91 freeway after going the wrong way and then on foot ran across all lanes of the eastbound side of the 91 freeway. You see the westbound side of the 91 completely shut down. And then that woman ran right into that Denny's where they are looking for her or any sign of her. There is a canine unit right there. It looks like officers are standing by at the door with their guns drawn and may be communicating. But we will see what happens here. Very difficult to tell what's going on inside that restaurant. Wow. Josh, could you push in on one of those and let me know which agency is that down there? I just want to get a, a, an accurate reading of who else is showing up here. It looks like uh, La Habra PD. We've got California Highway Patrol. Who else is here? There's some other agencies as well. Corona PD. And I believe we are in Corona's jurisdiction, so that would make uh, sense why so many of these units appear to be Corona PD units and maybe even a Riverside County Sheriff or two. But you can see those officers now crowding the entrance to the restaurant. 
the K-9 unit ready, but in the background there, as they appear to have somebody who they're communicating with. They are standing by at the entrance to the restaurant with their guns drawn, but they appear hesitant to enter the restaurant any further, and uh, we'll see if it is indeed the suspect who they're, commu who they're communicating with, but a wild end here as this suspect appears to be hiding out inside of this Denny's. More officers arriving on scene, Corona PD providing backup here for those La Habra PD units, at least one or two of them was able to get out of that uh, that situation where they were pretty much boxed in by that fence. They tried to box the suspect in and uh, basically tried to, I don't know if you'd call it a pit maneuver, but they basically ran full speed into that work truck, which took the beating and kept on going through the fence, taking out a tree, and it certainly looked like at least one of those La Habra PD units was completely disabled. Uh, it just was uh, no match for that work truck. And the work truck kept on going over the tree, through the fence, and then right on to the wrong side of the freeway. What an end to this pursuit. Again, this is all coming to a, a stop here. Uh, this is the Denny's along the 91 freeway and 6th Street. There's that unit, that stolen work truck, which came to rest on the westbound side facing eastbound. California Highway Patrol now shutting down the entire freeway. There's going to be an investigation here, but hopefully they may be able to open up at least one lane. But first, they're going to have to call for a flatbed to get that truck out of there because it's causing a danger uh, in the uh, westbound side of traffic there. And we don't even know if there's any other debris in the roadway there. So officers still on both sides of the restaurant here. Traffic moving forward on the eastbound side of the 91 freeway. And a, uh, a hunt going on for that suspect who lost their wig. By, by my estimation, it certainly appeared to be a female running across the freeway, but uh, it looked like a blonde wig that fell right off as, uh, as she ran into that Denny's parking lot. And now the eastbound side of the 91 freeway has come to a halt as well. So California Highway Patrol, and uh, they've been fully mobilized here. They have now a complete shutdown of the 91 freeway, both eastbound and westbound traffic coming to a stop as they prepare to collect any evidence and then get that truck out of the way. Um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a few minutes, but you can see there's a uh, there's that there's that La Habra PD unit that uh, crashed right into the work truck and then into the tree and uh, is pretty smashed up there. Uh, he's not going anywhere, but it looks like the other two La Habra units were able to make chase under the freeway and get over to the other side where this Denny's is. And now they are accompanied by Corona PD and California Highway Patrol officers at this Denny's location right along the 91 freeway. Just widen out just a second, Josh. I want to get the exact cross street here of this Denny's location. That is going to be 6th Street, or Frontage Road, also 6th Street, and Paseo Grande. So Paseo Grande and 6th Street.
Still don't have that suspect in custody. Let's go ahead and push back in on the Denny's and see if they are making any progress. Dan, let's go ahead and do an orbit around this Denny's and see if there's any sign of those officers who were at the entrance but now appear to have made their way inside the restaurant, some of them. There's a group of officers in the back of the restaurant. Uh, and it either appears as though this person is hiding or just refusing to give up. Maybe they are communicating with her. Still looking for any sign of movement outside of this Denny's location where you can see officers in the front, officers in the back, but still no sign of that suspect. Now, some people were able to make their way out of the building uh, in the uh, early minutes of police arriving at the Denny's, uh, but we don't know if there's additional people in there. Uh, God forbid any hostages that may be, be uh, held up against their will, but right now, just too early to say, just lots of police activity surrounding this Denny's location at 6th Street and Paseo Grande here in Corona. That's the 91 freeway along the right side of your screen. It looks like eastbound and westbound traffic has now been reopened here, so they've moved that vehicle out of the way, off to the side of the freeway. That suspect vehicle is now off to the right shoulder of the westbound side. There's the stolen work truck there. And now traffic has reopened on the freeway. You see very heavy front end damage there. Let's go back over to the Denny's where the suspect who fled that vehicle is believed to be hiding out still inside that Denny's restaurant. Once again, all eyes on this Denny's restaurant. If you're just joining us, a wild chase ending along the 91 freeway here in Corona. The suspect jumping out of the vehicle, crossing all lanes of the 91 on foot, and then running into a Denny's restaurant where we have yet to see her coming out. There are police on scene down there from a number of different agencies. You can see all of the activity in the parking lot there. Uh, unclear what is taking place inside that restaurant and unclear whether anybody else is in danger. So still a fluid situation. You can see that night sun coming from the uh, helicopter above, keeping an eye on this suspect search. And uh, you would expect to see a few more units in the rear there, but there are a handful of units in the back of the restaurant. And now an officer or two coming from the front, running across the front of the restaurant, just impossible to say with any certainty whether this person is in custody inside the restaurant or whether they are still a threat. But they ran into that Denny's restaurant to hide out. Appeared to be a woman who lost a wig. That's the wig right there as she was running around the corner. The wig came flying off. And now you see 
more uh, officers running into the restaurant. Want to push into the windows there, Josh, and see if we can make out any activity at all uh, near the entrance there, or get a bit, maybe if we could push back a little bit, Dan, and see if we could look a little bit uh, into the front, maybe. Well, what we can say is that there are several officers inside the restaurant at this point. So they were uh, crowded at the front there. They've now made their way inside the restaurant, presumably uh, either trying to find that suspect or maybe uh, just trying to uh, attend to her or maybe uh, just get her to give up. Maybe she's still refusing to comply. So uh, any number of possibilities. We don't know whether there's any more patrons or employees inside that Denny's, but it certainly appears that a couple were able to make their way out. Another officer now running out of the restaurant. I would imagine if, uh, if they can get her into custody, we should see some more activity uh, coming from the front of the restaurant here in just a second, but uh, there are officers on both sides just in case, and uh, we don't know if that person is still hiding. And now I get word that it does appear that that suspect is hiding inside. And here comes the battering ram as they have canine units inside the, rest, uh, inside the restaurant conducting a, uh, a canine search. They may have her cornered in some kind of an enclosed uh, room, either a restroom or a uh, storage area as that officer came out with the uh, the door ram there and look at all of the activity in the parking lot of that Denny's.
just looking for any movement, but it's very difficult to see inside this restaurant, as you can see from this angle, although we do understand that canine units are searching the building for that suspect. Just a moment ago, we saw an officer come out and grab a door rammer to try and break down one of the doors, it looks like, in the interior of this restaurant. Again, perhaps the person is hiding in a restroom or a storage area, uh, but right now, beyond that, it is speculation uh, on our part, as you can see a number of different agencies converging here at the Denny's on 6th Street, just uh, uh, 6th Street at Paseo Grand, uh, just off the 91 freeway, and a, a huge law enforcement presence as this person is now made several attempts to assault La Habra PD officers. More units coming around the perimeter of the building, but certainly it appears there's a chance that perhaps the suspect is now in custody as they leave the rear of the property unmanned. It certainly appears as though this may be wrapping up and hopefully in uh, the next couple of minutes here, we'll see that suspect walked out of the front of the restaurant and here she is. There she is, uh, finally. They've been able to take her into custody. After hiding out inside that restaurant, it appears that she was uh, locked up somewhere in there, and they have finally been able to extract her from this restaurant, now placing her under arrest after what was just a wild and crazy pursuit ending here in Corona. Hey, Brittany, go ahead. Okay, great. Uh, I'll, I'll make it. I'll make it obvious.
Copy, copy, copy. Thank you, Brittany. Can't tell. 